how to solve by using smart techniques like digit root method right so you know basically the questions are on simplification right 145 into 69 into 252 into 348 equals to what into 6480 options have been given similarly 144 into 158 into 164 is equal to what into 16 into 9 into 8 options have been given you have to suppose you're supposed to find out what comes in place of question mark in these two questions now easy to solve question mark will be equal to the product of all these values divided by 6480 here product of all these values divided by 16 into 9 into 8 but then how do we solve it using smart technique like digit root method now digit root method is nothing but the digital root method i mean that's what she is referring to right digital root or the root digit root digit method yeah now i hope all of you know what is a digital root or what is root digit for a number right root digit in simple words is this sum of the digits it is it can also be referred to as lucky digit right many of us do this in our day to day life but we don't know that the concept is root digit right like for example the number is let's say 7963 Four two. What's the root digit for this number? Root digit is nothing but sum of the digits till you get a single digit number. You keep adding the digits, and you know till you arrive at a single digit number. So seven plus nine, sixteen. Sixteen plus six, twenty two. Twenty two plus three, twenty five. Twenty five plus four, twenty nine. Twenty nine plus two, thirty one. Again, thirty one is what? Three plus one. Root digit is equal to four. So the root digit of this number is four. Yeah. Now. Indian mathematics, ancient Indian mathematics tells us that root digit is always balanced on both the sides. Root digit always gets balanced on both the sides. So that's what we will use in answering questions on root digits, right? But before that, let me also quickly remind you that when you're finding out root digit, anything that makes up 9 can be ex uh, excluded. Like for example, even if I don't count, count 9 here, root digit will still remain 4. Check. 7 plus 6, 13. 13 plus 3, 16. 16 plus 4, 20. 20 plus 2, 22. 22. 2 plus 2, 4. You're getting it? So 9 makes no difference in the root digit. Not just 9, anything that makes 9 also makes no difference. Like for example, 6 and 3 are 9, right? 6 and 3 together is 9. Leave that. Find out the root digit for remaining numbers, remaining digits. 7 plus 4, 11. 11 plus 2, 13. 13. 1 plus 3 again gives you 4. Forget about that. 7 and 2 also is 9, right? Exclude that. 4. Root digit is 4. So root digit basically is the sum of the digits. Sum of the digits till you get a single digit number. And when you are finding out the sum of the digits, you can exclude 9 or the digits which add up to 9. Because those will not have any impact on the root digit. Okay. Now how is this concept of root digit useful? Simple example. Let's take a simple example. Let's say the question is 42 into 19. What is 42 into 19? Simplify 42 into 19 is 840 minus 42 which is 798. Concept of root digit tells that the root digit will be balanced on both the sides. What is the root digit of 42? 6. What is the root digit of 19? See, 4 plus 2, 6. 19. 19 will be 1. Because 9 can be excluded, we'll have 1. Root digit is 1. What is the root digit of 798? Find out. 9 can be excluded. 7 and 8 is 15. 15 is 1 plus 5, 6. Try and check. The root digit is balanced. It was product, right? I'm copying the same sign. So 6 into 1 is equal to 6. It, it, balance, it, it balances. Root digit is always the same on both the sides. That's the whole concept. Right? So what you have here is the definition of root digit on the right hand side box. Root digit or digital root. Yeah, this is the concept. Now, using this concept, how do you solve the question? There are other types of concepts as well. Like for example, unit digit method where we work only on the unit digit. But if you observe the options, all the options here end with one. So the unit digit method will not work, not work at all. Similarly, in the second question also, all the options end with 9. So unit digit method is not going to work. It's a failure. I mean, you, you should not even apply. Anybody who tries unit digit method here is wasting his precious time. Because before you apply unit digit, unit digit method, you should always check the options. All the options are ending with the same digit. Doesn't make any sense in going for unit digit method. Maybe you can do approximation, but even that may not be very useful because options are closed, right? 1,35,401. And 135,501. There is a difference of just 100 over 135,000, which is very, very close. 136,401 is also 1,000 difference in, in these two options. See, these two options are also very close. So when options are close, going for approximation may not be a great idea. Right? In the second case, also all the options are close. 3039, 3139, 100 is the difference. 3239, another 100 is the difference. 3439. 200 is the difference here also 100 is the difference between 3 and 5 so options are again close here so when the options are too close spaced out closely applying approximations 
or using approximation method is not going to be a great idea. So, unit digit method cannot be applied, approximation method cannot be applied. Either do the complete calculation or go for digital root. Now, what happens when you apply digital root? Basically, the idea is that find out the digital root of left hand side, the balance it with the right hand side, balance the digital root with the right hand side. Okay, what do you do? Put options one by one in place of question mark and see which option satisfies the condition of digital root. So, so let's do that, right? I'll, I'll take the first question. 145 into 69 into 252 into 348 equals to question mark into 6480. Now apply digital root. 145. What is the digital root? 4 and 5 is 9, right? So digital root is 1. 69. 9 gets cancelled. Digital root is 6. Into, right? Remember into. 252. 2 into 5 into 2 plus 5 plus 2. So 2 plus 5, 7, 7 plus 2, 9. I think the moment I get 9, I will stop the digital root calculation on the left hand side. You, you can continue doing it, but it makes no sense. I'll tell you why. First, first let's find out the uh, digital root here. 3 plus 4, 7. 7 plus 8, 15. 1 plus 5 is 6. Digital root here is 6. Without putting pen on paper, I can say that the overall digital root on the left hand side is going to be 9. Why is it so? Check first of all. 1 into 6 is 6. 6 into 9, 54. 54 into 6. What is 54 into 6? 54 into 6 will be 324. For 324, what's the digital root? 3 plus 2 plus 4, 9. Or you can do it in parts also, right? Like 1 into 6 is 6, right? 9 into 6 is 54. For 54, the digital root is 9. 6 into 9, I mean, so this 54 can be replaced as 9. 6 into 9 is 54 again. And for 54, the digital root is 9. So the point is, overall, the digital root is going to be 9. But then I can say that the digital root on the left hand side is 9 even without doing any calculation here because one of the digits is 9, one of the roots is 9, one of the digital roots is 9. Remember the point is when you multiply any number with 9, when you multiply any number with 9, like 1 into 6 into 6 is 36, but not just 36, you multiply any number with 9, overall digital root will always come out to be 9. Why is it so? Let's, let's understand that concept. Like for example, let's say one root digit is 9, the other root digit is 1. What is the overall root digit? 9 only. 1 is 9, the other is 2. 9 into 2, 18. What is the root digit for 18? 1 plus 8, 9. 1 root digit is 9, the other one is let's say 6. 9 into 6, 54. 5 plus 4, it always gives you a result as 9. 1 root digit is 9, the other one is let's say 7. 9 into 7, 63. 6 plus 3, 9. So the point is you multiply any root digit with 9. The overall root digit is always going to be 9. For multiplication, when, when you are multiplying. You know, simple idea, yeah? if you look at the multiples of 9, 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, all these add up to 9 only. So without doing any calculation, the moment I get 252 as 9, I mean, the moment I get a root digit as 9, when I'm finding out product of root digits, I'll stop there itself. I, I don't even have to calculate this. I can say that overall product will give me a root digit of 9. So left hand side is 9. The root digit on the left hand side is 9. Now what? If the root digit on the left hand side is 9, the root digit on the right hand side should also be 9. So what comes in place of question mark is to be found. Find out the root digit of 6480. Find out the root digit of 6480. Find out. 6 plus 4, 10. 10 plus 8, 18. 18 plus 0, 0. 8. Oh, sorry, 18 plus 0, 18. I'm sorry. 6 plus 4, 10. 10 plus 8, 18. 18 plus 0, 18. 18 is a root digit. But again, root digit for 18 is 1 plus 8, 9. Now here is the problem. What I have on the left hand side is 9. What I have on the right hand side is a question mark multiplied by 9. Now anything I put in place of question mark will always give me a result as 9 only. It will get balanced. So I will not be able to solve this question using concept of root digit. You, you take the root digit of all the options. 1, 3, 5, 4, 0, 1, right? I think root digit will be what? 1 plus 3 plus 1, 4. Here it will be 6. What is the root? You understand? 4 plus 1 plus 1, 6. What will be the root digit here? 1, 3, 5 gets cancelled. 5 plus 1, 6. 2, 4, 5, 9, 1. 2, 4, 5, 9, 1. 9, 4, 5 gets cancelled. Root digit is 3. Here, I think it is going to be 1. The problem is you put anything. Anything in place of question mark. 4 into 9. Option 1. Put question mark. In place of question mark, I am putting the root digit of option 1. 4 into 9, 36. 3 plus 6, 9. And many of you would have marked option 1 as the answer. But remember, Option 1 satisfies, option 2 also will satisfy. 6 into 9, 54, 5 plus 4, 9. Balanced or not, option 2 also is correct. Option 3 says 6, 6 into 9, 54 again. If this 6 is satisfied, this 6 also will satisfy. 3, put option 4, option number 4, root digit is 3. 3 into 9, 27, 2 plus 7, 9. Balanced or not, so that, that way option 4 is also correct. Put option 5, 1. 
root digit in place of question mark is 1. 1 into 9, 9. Option 5 also is correct. All the options will come out to be correct. All the options here will come out to be correct. Why? I am dealing with a product that involves one of the numbers as 9. One of the root digits as 9. It will fail. The root digit fails here. Does not mean that all the answers are correct. How can all the answers be correct? All the answers cannot be correct. Only one of them has to be correct. So don't mark the answer blindly as option 1. If you have marked the answer as option 1, which means you have not really verified 2, 3, 4, 5. When you verify 2, 3, 4, 5, option 2, option 3, option 4 and option 5, you will find that even these options satisfy. You are getting it? So the point I am trying to make is digital root method is very interesting, very, very important, but it will not work always. It will not work always. It will fail in these cases where I am multiplying with 9. I am multiplying with 9. If this was 9, if the left hand side is 9, on the right hand side here if I have got 3, then not a problem. Suppose instead of 9, if I had 3, then I would have got one of the correct answers. I mean, I would have found which one is the correct answer. If there is anything in place of 9 here, 4, 1, 6, 5, 2, uh, 3, 7, 8, it will work. Because that 8 multiplied by what will give me 9? Then that's a different story. But here, since it is being multiplied by 9, anything will satisfy. Because anything will overall result in the root digit of 9 only. Yeah. So, root digit fails when you have such a case. So it cannot be applied. A smart technique cannot be applied. And, and, and I told you, right? Not every question from simplification can be solved using a smart method. Some questions may need a regular method. I have told you already, I cannot do approximation also because options are too close. So you all you have to do is apply the regular method. And I'm sure when you apply the regular method, you can solve it. I mean, you just have to do will deal with cancellations and you know simplify. So question mark will be equal to. So, so if you ask me how to solve this particular question, question number one, I'll say the solution for question number one is this question mark equals to 145 into 69 into 252 into 348 divided by 6480. Work on this and you'll get the required answer. This is the only way to solve the question. Huh, maybe you can eliminate some options by finding out the range. You see, the first option is 1,35,000. Second option, 1,36,000. Third option, 1,35,000. Fourth option is 24,000. Fifth option is 23,000. So these fourth and fifth options are in the range of 20,000s. But first three options are in the range of 1 lakh. 1 lakh 30,000. That is the range. So by, by just verifying the range, if I find out that the range has to be in 20,000, I can say option 1, 2, 3 are wrong. But between 4 and 5, you will still be confused. If I find out that the range should be in the, you know, it should be in the range of 1,30,000, then definitely 4 and 5 are wrong. But between 1, 2 and 3, anyone can be correct. Yeah. So, conventional method is the only way to solve this question. If you say this method is time consuming, then you better skip this question and go to the next one. And let me tell you, if you cannot do this simplification in 40 seconds, you are not fit for the exam. If this kind of simplification, what we have here, this is a conventional method, I agree. This is conventional method, regular method. So you may not be happy applying conventional method always. But in such a question, even if you apply conventional method, it should not take 40 seconds, more than 40 seconds. If it takes more than 40, 45 seconds, you are not fit for the exam. If you cannot do this kind of a simplification, then it's going to be difficult. I mean, you have to be very quick in playing with these numbers, right? You just have to do cancellations as quickly as possible and then simplify it. Okay, let's let's try the digital root method now for the second question. Let me let me apply it for the second one. Yeah. So so let me work on the second one in a different color so that you don't get confused with so much of writing here, right? I'm I'm not interested in clearing it off. So let me let me solve the second question now. 144. What is the digital root for 144? Nine. And the moment I get 9, I will not worry about what is the digital root of 158 and 164 because overall the digital root on the left hand side is going to be 9. 9 into anything will give me a digital root of 9. Simplify it on the right hand side, question mark into. Now, on the right hand side, I already have 9. For a single digit, the digital root is that number itself. Now, whatever be the value of question mark, if I go by digital root method, it will always get balanced. So, option 1 will satisfy. If you really look at it, option 1 will satisfy. Does not mean that option 1 is the correct answer. Option 1 need not be correct. So, digital root is not applicable. You don't have to apply for every option and check. In the question itself, by looking at the question itself, I know that it is not applicable. So, I'll have to go for a regular solution. And this also should not take more than 40, 45 seconds. I think simple, no, 144 is 16 into 9. So, 16 and 9 gets cancelled. Question mark should be equal to 158 into 164 by 8. Solve. Here, very easy. I mean, if you are good with numbers, you will say question mark will be equal to 158 into 164 divided by 8 because 16 into 9 is 144 and that 144, this 144 gets cancelled. 
of course the first question is not as simple as the second one first question may take a little longer but even that if you are not confident about the conventional method you just skip and go to the next one so out of these two questions solve only the second one and proceed okay so that's the concept of digital route i mean not we, we have not discussed this in detail right uh detail explanation is there in your video of simplifications which you can follow 